Timor-Leste, one of the newest countries in the world, faces substantial challenges to eradicate poverty and hunger, with some of the highest rates of child malnutrition. One superfood that is underexploited in Timor-Leste and has the potential to reverse this trend is fish. Fish are a source of protein energy, micronutrients and fatty acids, all essential for growth and development of vision, motor skills and brain function. Timorese fishing traditions can be traced back 40,000 years, yet in recent colonial history, coastal communities have been restricted to nearshore reef fisheries. Fishing is rarely a full-time activity in Timor-Leste, but rather one component of a diverse rural livelihood system. Hence, fishing techniques are simple, labour-intensive and result in low catch rates. Furthermore, Timor-Leste's fringing reef habitat has shown signs of depletion and availability of fish may be a key factor in Timor-Leste's very low consumption rates compared to neighbouring countries. A cooperation between the Kingdom of Norway and Timor-Leste's Ministry of Agriculture and Fisheries has helped to strengthen a key partnership between the Fisheries Department and World Fish, supporting the development of the fisheries sector through cutting-edge fisheries technology such as FADs, fish aggregation devices that draw pelagic fish close to the shore within reach of artisanal fishers. World Fish have trained a team of specialist fisheries officers in FAD building, and in the coming months, 12 FAD units will have been deployed across five community sites. Capacity building is a core objective and fisheries staff are key counterparts in all aspects of our work. Norwegian funding has enabled the scaling up of research to multiple and often remote pilot communities. A project vehicle and boat allow for testing and deployment of FADs and hydroacoustic research in remote areas and difficult terrain that might otherwise be ignored for logistical reasons. Research into the effect of these FADs in accumulating fish biomass is currently underway with Norwegian hydroacoustic technology from Kongsberg Maritime. This stock assessment research, overseen by collaborating scientist Professor Jeppe Kolding from the University of Bergen, aims to assess the abundance of fish in reef and FAD systems using a combination of acoustic imaging, underwater surveys and fish landings data. This innovative research is the cornerstone of a national fisheries strategy for Timor-Leste being drafted as part of this project. This strategy will guide Timor-Leste's management of sustainable fisheries that strengthen local livelihoods, fight malnutrition and enhance food security. It would not be possible without the generous support of the Kingdom of Norway and the Royal Norwegian Embassy in Jakarta.